Hello everyone, it's Jackie from Pretty Paper Craft here. I just want firstly to say that I did start another group for my AA, AI cards, but I have decided that I will just put them on here when I finish the cards. So it will only be every three weeks or so when I finally get those. These fancy card ones are still going to stay pretty much every two weeks, but in between I will be putting some AI ones on so if you're not interested in the AI just scroll on by but these will just stay as they are. Right this is what we're going to be doing today I know it's already been done and there's plenty of them out there but I just wanted to give you the basic concept because it is really easy to make and although it looks elaborate it isn't elaborate it is really easy to put together and you can have different sizes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'll put that to the side and we'll, we'll move on with the video. This is what you need. Two basics, two pieces of card. You need one 11 and a half inches by seven and a half inches. That's that way you score this one at five inches, then at five and three quarters, then at 10 and three quarters. Then you turn it around this way, you score at three quarters of an inch and then six and three quarters. That's all the scoring to be done on this one. If you want to screenshot that, now's your time to do that. The other piece, which is going to be the inside of the box, it, you need to it's seven and a quarter by six and a quarter it's going to be up this way so it's going to be the shorter side going across here you score at five eighths on all four sides so that will be there and then whatever shape you're going to have in the middle you're going to die cut or using a sharp blade with a, a, a metal ruler cut your shape in the middle there to cut it out that's all there is to that let me go on show you this is what you will be left with this is all one piece and it will come over there and do on here but by the time you've got your mats and layers on or your patterned paper it's going to have a lot more stability to it just going back to this piece, these, the two centre ones, you will glue those two on this side and they will sit inside there, both sides, to create your box. Now I wanted to just show you, I haven't done it yet, but I wanted to show you all of these tabs will need to be cut slightly at an angle. Just a piece chipped off there. And even this one, I have gone through and cut all of them. So on those, and two on the tab on the end. Because when this is up, you're not going to notice it because this is going to be inside here and this is going to be inside here. Otherwise, you might find there's a little bit of surplus there when it's folded in. Likewise, on this one, you fold it up both sides and you put it in, glue it in like that. So you actually get this. So that's straightforward. Again, all these edges need cutting before you put them together and you've got your nice rectangle box now it does really need to go portrait because if you put it that way there's no way of displaying it afterwards so really they're principally portrait and not landscape so that's that piece this is the other piece Again, you've got your tabs coming in at the top. You will need to cut them all exactly the same as you did that other one.
both of those and this one. Now this one I have actually done, I cut this shape out, but I went a bit tight, but I thought it's ideal to show you what it will do at this stage. These tabs you've glued inside. And what I tend to do, because this is really snug, and I mean it is snug, I glue them and then fit it inside. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to go in there. And that is because of those, the tabs on the inside. So it does need to be, what I did do on some of them, I cut this off. So it's not quite so much going round. And it's it's only put put inside anyway. But that's your principle. As I said, I went a bit big on this one I should have done it a bit small but I thought it's ideal that will then sit inside there which I can't get it to do but it will sit inside there and it fits in nice and snug well now I've bent it it does fit in there <laughs> talk about having a booby while while I'm videoing it but anyway that Believe me, it does sit in there because the others were all exactly the same, same dimensions, and I'll show you again in a moment. Um, so that will then sit inside there. If you're going to put a picture on the back, then now's the time to do it before you stick that in. And I will show you on a finished one exactly what how I glued that inside. So I'll go back to this one that... I had I shown you originally at the beginning this one is a 3d decoupage one I haven't put anything on here but if you wanted to you can just keep with the same principle I've used the non-shed glitter glue and the decoupage one on there and the same on there you can write there or on the back now what I did do once you see they do fit <laughs> they definitely fit i just having a problem with that one and when it was in here i pulled this away and put my glue nozzle in there and then i had done the same on all four sides so i've done this side first and just held it in place for uh, a few seconds and then done the opposite side and then these two so Basically, you can hold it in place by going like this and just hold it like that and just hold it there for a couple of minutes and that will hold it all together. I use little tiny Velcro dots on there on each end that just holds that flap in and just tidies it all up. You could, of course, put a belly band round, but then that would still be hanging out. So I suppose if you didn't have the decoupage on the front, you could put a ribbon around both sides. That would be quite nice, actually. Um, so that's how I've done that one. That's the first one. Hopefully you understood all that. This is the second one again. This one is more a wedding or engagement one because this one on your special day could be a birthday. But this one to both of you on your special day it's probably more wedding or engagement or something like that so i prettied it up on the inside and they can write either on the back or on there but probably on there so again i put the mirror card at the back for stuck the decoupage sheet on there and 3 d that so that's the second one and i've got two more this one I haven't put, um, yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't put a greeting on there. It will probably end up the birthday, but I don't know. It could be a get well card. Now I've done the butterflies on the acetate and down in there, I just put a small, let me just get a piece to show you. I just used some concertina. I used a lot more than this. I actually used the width of an A5, of an A4 sheet, and scored it at 5 eighths all the way across. 
held it tight, just glue the ends so they go together on both sides. Then I glued the bottom and stuck it in the back of, let me show you, in the back of this piece. Obviously it wasn't that shape. So, and then I put the acetate, butterflies on the acetate in there, but you could put anything on the acetate. It hasn't got to be butterflies. If it's a children's card, you can put something child orientated on there that you wanted them to have. So, um, but I had to do a butterfly one. It's really, really pretty. Need to write on the back of this one. In fact, that box has got a bit damaged. Oh, that's all, that's okay. So that's that one. And the final one I've got is this one, birthday wishes. Again, Velcroved and it is a birthday one. They need to write on the back of this one. And I've done little tiny dragonflies and a fairy one there. So it's not really dimensional in the back, but I just thought it looked quite pretty. The paper has got dragonflies on it. And I just thought these looked cute um, on the front and so does the fairy. So that is definitely a birthday card, birthday wishes on the front and that. So that's it. That's one, two, three and four. Here's the fourth one. So as I said, I think it's really easy to do and I think most people will be able to relate to that if you screenshot it at the beginning if you haven't done it yet then go back and screenshot it get your measurements and if you want to do it a square one a five by five or four by four it's exactly the same principle the same amount goes over here it's just depends what shape you're going to cut out how what size you're going to cut out but you would just alter the measurements on the box so that's it for now i was See you again in a couple of weeks. Thank you again for any new subscribers and thank you for the long-term subscribers that have been following me since I started. So thank you everyone. I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye.